Hey guys, it's Regina from ReboundReview.com and in this video I want to straighten out Rogam, RH Factor, Coombs, and Indirect Coombs. Okay, so we're talking about this in regards to maternity nursing and you normally see these terms when this scenario happens. You have an RH negative mother who has an RH positive baby. Now remember, the RH factor or rhesus factor is a protein that is found in the blood. So normally this would not be a problem because mothers and their fetuses, remember the blood doesn't mix except during times of delivery it could, it could happen or during certain procedures such as an amniocentesis. Anyhow, the instance that the mom is RH negative and the baby is RH positive Rogam needs to be administered. Now, Rogam is an immune globulin, all right? So it's something that you're not born with, you have to receive it. Rogam, who gets it? Does the mom get it or does the baby get it? What do you think? Right, the mother gets the Rogam. Now, can the baby ever get Rogam or should the baby ever get Rogam? No, never give the baby Rogam. What about the father? Should a nurse administer Rogam to the father? No, the father never gets Rogam either, all right? So this is for an RH negative mother who has an RH positive baby. Write it down. Okay. So when should Rogam be given to the RH negative mother? Well, you can give Rogam at 28 to 30 weeks gestation, all right, all right, so you give it then, and then you would give it again within 72 hours after delivery. Now this is important because you should always check to see if a mom is RH negative because you would never want to give Rogam to a mom who indeed had the antibodies and was RH positive. Remember, if a mother has uh, had an abortion or a miscarriage, whether it was spontaneous, it doesn't matter, she needs to have Rogam if her baby was RH positive. Now, how do you know? How do you know if the baby is RH positive and the mother is RH negative? Well, this is where the Coombs test comes into play. And there are two types of Coombs tests. There is a direct Coombs test and there is an indirect Coombs test. So let's just start with direct Coombs test because it's easy. Um, direct Coombs is when blood is taken directly from the neonatal cord. And that would test to see if the baby was RH positive or negative. Indirect Coombs is when a sample is taken from the mom's blood. And there are two values that you need to know for indirect Coombs. Normal or abnormal. So if the indirect Coombs was normal, that means that it was negative and there are no antibodies for the RH factor. So that means that the mom is RH negative. And in that case, what do we want to give her? We want to give her Rogam. All right. So if you get an abnormal indirect Coombs, that means that the mom tested positive for RH antibodies. That means that the mom is RH positive. So do we want to give her Rogam if she's RH positive? No, we never want to do that because that's going to cause the mom's blood to clot abnormally, which could put her life at risk. All right, so now you guys know when to give Rogam, why you give Rogam, and who not to give Rogam to. These are all very important points for NCLEX. Thank you for studying with me. Bye-bye.